Hello everyone, welcome to Fixtronics. Here is yet another HP power supply that has failed. So this power supply does not power on at all. Okay, so today we'll be looking at it and we'll see if we can fix it, okay? So the first thing that we will do always when we have a power supply that doesn't power on is to check the fuse and always always never forget to check the voltage across this capacitor I already checked it and it doesn't have any voltage so it's safe to handle this power supply okay so the fuse is here at this daughter board over here and it's this one with the heat shrink so if we check the fuse we should have a beep if it is okay and it is the fuse is good assuming that the fuse is good that makes the primary side to be good not always but most of the time if the, if the fuse is good the primary side is good okay so let's check after the rectifier the bridge rectifier okay so the bridge rectifier pins are here four of them so if we check at the output we have 0.5 which is good so the output of the bridge rectifier to the primary side is good so the primary side is good here we have a short key diode should be good also 0.3 is good so the primary side is good actually in this power supply but while we are here let's check this diode and this one they both are okay okay so let's check also these transistors in this heatsink we have four of them one two three four so this one should be not shorted it's okay this one we have a short here I don't know so let's check this one should be the same no so it's it's not short because of this resistor this resistor is connected between the emitter and the the base of this transistor both of them so this one is actually a diode so if we test it like this we have a continue 0.3 voltage drop and this side it doesn't conduct so the primary side is actually good so now we will go to the secondary side so the easiest way to check is to bring the connector and check put one connector or probe I mean to ground and the other to 12 volt and other bin so this is ground if we check 12 volt so we have a short at the 12 volt rail so the 12 even this yellow wire is 12 volt so let's check it okay so the, the yellow wire is here and also we have short so the 12 volt line is shorted if we check the purple wire it's not shorted if we check the minus 12 volt line which is the blue line it is not shorted if we check these wires This one is good. The 
this one does not conduct this one is good the green one and the gray one is good oh you didn't see that so I was testing this plug two white wires and the green and the gray wires so we have a short at the 12 volt line so if we trace the 12 volt line actually so we have these two wires the brown wires and the yellow wires they are connected here both of them so this is the brown wires and here is the the yellow wires both of them go to the same trace but across two resistors these resistors are used to measure the current okay so at the end both of them are connected together after these resistors okay so we have a short to ground the 12 volt line so the 12 volt line after this two resistors these two resistors it goes through a coil a little coil over there inside this one and then from there it goes to the to this transformer over here and the ground is actually connected here so we should have no we should have no continuation between the ground and the 12 volt line because here we have two MOSFETs that connects the ground so from this side we should have ground okay but not from this side also this one should have ground from this side but not from this side okay so or actually this two transistors are connected yeah yeah as I said as I said both of them are connected to a heatsink from the other side so if we check this trace if we check this trace from here it goes to this MOSFET okay and also from here it goes to this MOSFET and these are connected together because it's this heatsink okay so if we inject voltage here we should have one of these two getting warm because these are that connect us to ground these are what connects the 12 volt line to ground through the transformer to ground okay so if I use my thermal camera and inject voltage if I inject at the 12 volt line now I'm injecting it's drawing 4.4 amps if I use my thermal camera as you can see we have this transformer getting warm so that oh, I mean that MOSFET so that MOSFET the lower one here what causes this short so let's take it out and see if that short will go away so if we check this MOSFET it is shorted yeah so if we check now this connector here if we connect if we check this connector right now so we have we are not shorted anymore point three and it's going up because the board is still hot so we are not shorted anymore so now we need to change this MOSFET okay so here is the MOSFET have just arrived so let's install one so I will take one let's 
so there it is just to confirm that the old one is shorted yes it is this is shorted and this one is is not shorted so this is the old one let's install the new one first let's uh, apply a little bit fresh solder on these pads okay so let's install it I need to shift it a little bit. Let's heat it up a bit again. Okay, let's test now if we have short at the 12 volt rail. So before we have a short at the ground to 12 volt, and now we have no short. As you can see, it's OL, so it's over line. So I think we can now test it. Okay, so I will connect the power cord in a series in a, in a series with the lamp to limit the current and we will test it okay okay so i have connected the power cord through a series lamp as you can see over there so let's turn it on it flashed and that's a good sign so let's test the voltage now do we have a 12 volt we have nothing let me test this socket here To ground so here is the ground and the socket the green one has 5 volts yes the yellow the yellow line has nothing I so saw I think this has to be has to be turned on in order for it to provide 12 volts at the brown and yellow lines let me just turn it on by shorting the green line to ground let me just bring uh, a jumper wire okay so here is a jumper wire let's connect the green line to ground yes it's working as you can hear the fan is spinning but do we have 12 volt there is the ground Let 
me hold this one. Okay. So we have this is the 12 volt line and this is the ground and we have 12 volts yes it is working okay, this is the blue line it should be negative 12 volts Okay, let me connect this back. It is negative 12 volts. So the power supply is working. Of course, we need to load test it to make sure it is fully working. But now I can call it a fix. So thank you for watching. Uh, not always uh, repairing is hard. Sometimes it just abuse. Somet sometimes it's just a capacitor for example not a power supply for example a motherboard or an, uh, any other uh, electronic device sometimes a ceramic capacitor sometimes a diode not always it's hard not always ic's integrated circuits sometimes a mosfet as you can see now we have this mosfet just this mosfet to replace and the power supply back to life so thank you for watching and i hope i can see you in another video thank you so much